Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today with another video and today I bring you a lot more multiplayer news. This is going to be about the new unlock system. I actually did a video about this a few days ago. There were actually a lot of questions raised after that video because there were some things that weren't currently known but they are now known. I was actually reading an interview in a magazine with David von der Haar and I answered some really good questions that I thought I should let you guys know as soon as possible. So basically they've kind of changed the way you're going to unlock stuff. They've changed the creator class system. That's one thing that they've definitely changed. That's been a really big change. If you guys haven't seen that, there's videos about that on my channel but today I'm going to be focusing on this unlock system. So I told you guys the other day that there are now going to be tokens and tokens are actually going to unlock items as you actually rank up and you're actually going to get one token for every time you level up in the game and in this year's game in case you guys don't know or in case you forgot there's actually going to be 55 levels in the prestige so per prestige you're actually only going to be getting 55 tokens and i should actually say this is no way linked to the kind of modern warfare 3 prestige tokens that we actually saw so once you get these tokens, you're then going to be able to buy stuff. You're going to be able to buy guns, equipment, attachments, perks, all things like that. And each of these, as far as I know, are going to be costing one token each. And the system that we're going to be getting this year in Black Ops 2 is actually quite different from the system that we actually had in Black Ops. So in Black Ops, you'll probably remember, you could pretty much buy what you wanted whenever you wanted. There are only actually a few select perks that weren't available at the beginning, and most of the guns were actually unlocked as you actually rank up. Now in this year's game you are actually going to be restricted as to what you can buy, you can only buy certain things at certain levels and they're actually going to go with the kind of rankings and I'm not talking about the levels, I'm talking about the names of the rankings. So you know when you're playing COD, you start off as level 1, you're actually a private, but then you actually go up, you're a private first class, you're a corporal, staff sergeant, master sergeant, there's just a few of them, you go all the way up to commander, so every time you actually increase that, you're actually going to unlock a new set of items that can then be bought with these tokens, so you're actually not going to unlock something every time you level up, which I know it's a little bit strange, but at the end of the day you can only actually spend one token on one item another thing that was actually made apparent in this interview which is actually i think like quite a game change you know we've never actually seen this before in call of duty the fact is that it looks like you're going to be taking your items with you through the prestige and you don't have to unlock gear like you did in modern warfare 3 it looks like you're going to be taking all your items with you because david von der Haar in this interview actually said that you're not actually going to be able to get everything you want within one prestige it's going to take you at least two prestiges to actually unlock all the things you want and if you kind of think about it logically you're going to get 55 tokens in your first prestige now if we just add up a few things you know if you talk about weapons there's probably going to be at least 30 weapons there's going to be 16 perks there's going to be over 10 kill streaks over 10 attachments so already that's more than 55 things that you can unlock so you can't actually unlock everything in your first prestige so you're actually going to have to prestige if you actually want to unlock all the items you can stay at level 55 and not prestige but you're never going to be able to use some gun so now that's a real incentive to prestige and it kind of like i don't know it makes prestige a lot more attractive you know the main thing with prestige was that you kind of lose all the good guns you lose the guns that you kind of got to know and love and you actually have to kind of rank up and it's really long trying to get those guns you know the level 50 guns that you really love but this year it looks like it's gonna be different and i'm really glad it's coming back like that should be really good and i'm really really happy with all these changes they're making to multiplayer so anyway guys that's the information i wanted to give you about the unlock system that should cover most of your questions so far but if you have any more let me know in the comments below there's still no word on stuff like gold cameras and stuff like that i will bring you a separate video telling you when that is actually confirmed and how you're actually going to get it apart from that guys make sure to stick around i've got a really really special video going up about half nine tonight so make sure you don't miss that apart from that check out a couple of my previous videos got those on screen right now and i'll catch you guys with another video very soon